Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that will be linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Big week now for Arsenal. Are we going to see some activity? Are we going to see some signings? Um, I've spoken about the last few days, these rumours that have been spreading around about Mikel Arteta being unhappy and, you know, that the owners haven't signed off a few deals so far. And I said, listen... At the moment, they're rumours. I, I, I haven't seen nothing really to back it up. But we got to start moving now. The transfer window opened on Friday. Still no deals done. I want to see this one get done if possible. Gabriel Jesus. Can we get it done possibly this week? Get it over the line before somebody else swoops in and says, you know what, we'll have a bit of Gabriel Jesus. And then, of course, there's this one for Yuri Tielemans. I know there's still um, another Nations League game to go, uh, probably for Belgium. But after that, let's see Arsenal making some moves. Time to start signing up some of these players and signing them up early. And these are two deals, by the way, that are not, you know, break the bank deals. Because, you know, these are two players that are in the last year of their contract. Two players that know they're on the move, want to move. Two players that want to play regular football because they want to be in their, um, you know, national team come the World Cup this year. So Arsenal really, really need to get their skates on and get two of their... Those two players are their top targets for this summer. Get them done. Or are they looking at other players? I mean, this room has been swirling around today. It was I've seen it a couple of days ago as well. Today's still around. Victor Osimhen, don't get me wrong, an absolute top quality player. And I'd love to see um, a Nigerian player in, especially after meeting all those fans over in Nigeria. They would be absolutely elated if we got a signing done for Victor Osimhen. Now, um, the reports are that Arsenal had a bid for £51 million rejected. That was their, their opening bid for Victor Osimhen. Um, Napoli, however say they want up to 85 million pounds, which is 100 euros for the 23-year-old Nigerian. Remember, they only uh, bought him from Lille in 2020. And when they bought him, they paid, what, just under 70 million pounds, 69.5 million pounds they paid for him at the time. He's got a long contract, still three years to go on that contract. So they don't need to be any in any hurry to sell him. However, how brave are Arsenal? How much do they want that signing? And is he worth that amount of money? That's a hell of a lot of money um, for Victor Osimhen. But listen, it's the type of signings that gets you back to where you want to be, gets you into the top four because you've got a top quality striker, um, a striker who scored goals for five. He's got nearly a one in, I think he's got a one in two record since he's been um, at Napoli. So it'd be an absolutely amazing signing. But is that fee too high for Arsenal even to go near it? As I said, the rumours are they made an opening bid of uh, £51 million. That's not going to be enough to get this done. Um, even though, as I said, £69.5 million was paid for him. And especially now, they'll be looking on it and saying, well, listen, Darwin Nunes is going to uh, Liverpool for you know £85 million they're going to want at least the 85 themselves, which is what they exactly what they're quoting. Um, so let's see how that one develops out. Um, I spoke about this one a couple of days ago as well, and this one is still hot today as well. Marco Asensio of Real Madrid, um, Spanish player, top quality player. Again, another one of those players in the last year of his contract. Um, now, Arsenal said to be showing a lot of interest in Marco Asensio. Um it looks like Mikel Arteta, what he's looking at at the moment is, can I get more quality into this team? And even though he plays as a right winger and you look at it and you say, well, hold on a minute, that's exactly where Saka plays. He's a quality player. He's a winner. He's experienced Spanish international. And he's a player that actually could be better um, than what we're seeing of him at Real Madrid because of the mere fact that they've got such an abundance of top players that he doesn't really get enough of a look in. bit like Odegaard. And we've seen how well he's done since he's come to Arsenal. So could Arsenal get that one done? Reports are though Real Madrid won about £40 million for him. 
Are Arsenal going to spend that amount of money when they've got some other targets to get? Or will they turn their attentions to this guy, Rafinha? Now, again, it's another one that I've spoken about on the show. I would love to see a player of his quality rock up at Arsenal. Again, another right winger. And again, people are looking at it and saying, yeah, but what happens with Saka? What about Pepe? Right? My guess is that Pepe is going to be uh, moving on this summer. I really do get the feeling that Arsenal are going to try and move Pepe on. We know that um, he's not Arteta's um, preferred option there. And Rafinha would be brilliant. And let, let me just remind everybody of something. This season coming, each team in the Premier League are going to be allowed to make five substitutions a game. That's coming in. That's going to be a new rule. Actually, that's going to be a rule that's going to be right across European football. You're going to be allowed to have five substitutions. That changes things. That really does. That shows you that you've got to have a very good very good squad and you've got to have a lot of players of quality and you're going to see more and more rotation coming into games and actually um, I remember in the season of COVID when we were allowed five substitutions actually helped Mikel Arteta with a lot of his tactics he used the five substitutions really really well so remember that five substitutions the break in the season again for the World Cup which is another thing I've spoken about which again this is the first time this is ever happening but I think it's going to be significant um, how it affects players and squads. You're going to need a big squad and you need a big squad of quality. That is why Manchester City are so good and so effective because they're continually able to bring players of the highest quality off the bench to change games. Arsenal need to get a big squad with a lot of quality in it. We ain't going to be able to operate with what we had last year. And also, don't forget another factor. We've got European football. That extends the games out by a lot more, right? Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. So we need a big squad. So if it's Saka and Rafinha or Saka or Marco Asensio, that's brilliant because you've got options. You can play one of them in the Europa League. You can play one of them on the Sunday, you know? Um, they could come back after the World Cup. One could be tired. One's a bit more up to speed. Do it, Arsenal. Get in players of quality, but it's going to cost money to get in a player like Rafinha because he's not going to be cheap. And what of players that could be on their way out? Pablo Mari, of course, who spent time out on loan at Udinese um, from January. He had a very successful time there, by the way. They liked him and they really want to bring him back. The only sticking point is they want another loan deal for um, for uh, Pablo Mari. Now, Arsenal would rather sell him um, and AC Milan is said to be one of those clubs that are really interested in signing him and I, no doubt he'd love a move like that. AC Milan, of course, in the Champions League, won the title last year in Italy. Could Pablo Mari um, be moving on? And should Pablo Mari be moving on when I just, you know, stated what I've just said? The fact that going to need a bigger squad, you know? And I know, you know, Saliba's coming back, even though Guendouzi yesterday was trying to put it out there that, you know, he's going to try and persuade him to stay at Marseille. He's coming back. But you've got, you know, four centre-backs. Do we really need five? Should we bring Pablo Mari back? And he's a left-sided centre back, which is uh, we don't really have that. So, uh, got to, a bit of thought got to go into that. Do you cash in, or do you keep him? Because a lots of lots of games coming up for Arsenal, and as I said, five substitutions able to be used. And then there's Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I I do think they're going to move on this kid. Um, and as I said, he deserves a move. Nottingham Forest still showing lots and lots of interest in Maitland-Niles, and um, don't be surprised if you see. Um, that happened or him going to something, but I think that would be a good move for him. And what of Lucas Torreira as well? That's another guy who is desperate to um, to get a move. Uh, it was at uh, Fiorentina, very successful loan period there. Um, there's an option for Fiorentina to buy him for 15 million euros, but they don't seem to have the money. There are other clubs interested. Lazio um, said to be one of those. As a matter of fact, a whole host of clubs over there in Italian football interested in Lucas Torreira can get some money in for him, although not big money. There's no real players that I think Arsenal are going to be at a shift on this summer where they'll get big money for. Even a player like uh, Pepe, 
you know, who we bought for £75 million. Looking at his valuation the other day, he's around about £25 million. Big loss that's going to be if we move him on. But if we're not playing him, what's the point in keeping him? So, listen, hopefully, fingers crossed, busy week for the Arsenal. Get at least one deal over the line, please. Get the fans a little bit up, you know, because they're starting to get worried when they're seeing these little rumours around about, you know, deals not being sanctioned and stuff like that. It would be great to get at least one of those key signings in and done as soon as possible. But... If it happens, we'll keep you up to date with it right here. Don't forget, we'll be back tonight with the evening show. Um, any rumours that drop, we're all over it. We're all over it here every single day here on AFTV. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get your notifications at any time Transfer Daily is coming out. And also to like this video. And I will see you tomorrow.